Today we tie the Watton shrimp. We tie this fly on an RX Light Stinger NS122, size 4, and we use an UTC thread size 70 in the color olive. We start with a bit of non-lead wire, to make sure that the fly will fish properly. Start to build the front part of the shrimp with some Dave Watton SLF dubbing, in the color brassy gold. Now use your brush. Tie it into around the barb. Now take some more dubbing, but this time in a lighter version than before, we use Davy Watton SLF dubbing in the color medium olive. We make a nice base layer with the dubbing, it makes it easier to tie in our shrimp eyes. For eyes, we use Easy Shrimp Eyes size medium in the color super fluorescent white, that makes a great contrast. Cut off the rest of the tying base. Take some more of the light dubbing, and roll it in between your hands. Tie it in, and make some more volume in front of the shrimp. Now it's time for some antennas and to add some movement to the fly. Cut off an appropriate amount of H2O grizzly fibers, in the color wild olive, and make sure they are not the same length in the fibers. Now tie them in in the middle, and double. That looks fine, now we tie in a rib, a mono line in around 0, 10. We will use the mono later. Go to the eye of the hook with your thread. Now you dub the body, and build a nice taper on the shrimp. It has to be thick in the front, and thin at the hook eye. Brush out the shrimp only on the top. We are ready to add our shrimp shell now, and we use a Pro Sports Fisher segmentation skin, in the color black clear, size 3mm wide. These shells you have to cut yourself, go for around 6mm wide. Attach the shrimp shell with Umano rib, and make sure it's nice and tight. Tie it in and cut off the rest. Finish you fly with a whip finish. Cut your shield to a suitable length. To make a nice shrimp silhouette, take a bit of Raid Zap UV resin in the thin version, and add a little to the backside of the shell. Use your UV light. Add some more UV resin on top of the shell, to make a solid fishing fly, and to lift up the front of the shrimp even more. Now all we need to do is brush out and release the fibers at the bottom of the shrimp to make it more transparent in the water. And that's it, the Watton Shrimp. If you like this video, we would be very grateful if you would use a few seconds and like the video, maybe share it in your network, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.